So my, my favorite Texas case is not one I was around for that any of us was around for or any of our grandparents. So it's in 1897 in Aurora, Texas. So that's outside Dallas. So in the late 1800s, there were actually a wave of mystery airship sightings, not just in Texas, but all over the US or maybe not all over along the, the West Coast and in, in Texas. And one of those ships crash landed in Aurora or crashed in Aurora, Texas. Um, you can see some witness drawings online if you search, it's essentially like a cigar shaped large object. And rumor has it, or the story goes, that an alien body was actually recovered from that crash and buried in Aurora, Texas. And there's still a headstone I think that you can maybe take a picture with, but it's not in the, the same location and obviously you know, military swooped in shortly after that event, the story goes, and so it's hard to find. We don't know where that alien body could be today, but that's one of my favorite cases. And, and again, there were other airship sightings at the time, as well as one of those sightings was associated with another contact case that I think was in California. And these ships were seen so frequently that um, I think it was, Thomas Edison or, you know, um, somebody had to say, no, I did not make these ships. These are not mine because people were having actual like theories about like not alien theories, um, wondering were these advanced um, ships. Yeah. So the fact that there was an alien body also retreat, you know, apparently retrieved. And then there was another alien contact. Um, case associated with the other airship in California. So that that's a lot, and that was well before Roswell, well before drones. Um, these were not Chinese lanterns, though. <laughs> some people did uh, guess they could be hot air balloons, because there were hot air balloons at this time. But the witness descriptions don't really fit that. So, yeah, I mean, really, that, those are some of the earliest UFO reports, and that's, you know, right here in Texas. 